All right, it's finally that time. Let's add your first product. So you'll always want to add products from the rankings tool. And that's going to be the first screen that you see anytime you log into your account. And if you're not there already, you can just click the rankings tab. Okay, so once you're here, start by clicking the blue button that says add product. And all you need to do is enter the ASIN or URL for whatever it is that you're adding. And if you don't know it off the top of your head, you can just copy and paste it from the Amazon page where it's always listed. So as an example, I'm going to be adding my favorite dog calendar as we go through this. So here, all I'm doing is just grabbing the ASIN and then copying it over. And if you want to add more than one product here, that's totally fine. Uh, just make sure that you're putting each ASIN on its own line. And if your product is listed anywhere outside the American Amazon.com marketplace, then you need to specify that. And you can do that right here. Also, if you're planning on adding a lot of products later on, this is a really good time to start using tags to keep them all organized. So I'll add a tag here, but keep in mind that you can always just come back and add these later on. Uh, now this next step is important if there are multiple variations to your product. So if you want to track all of your variations together, which is probably the right option for most of you, then keep this checked. But if maybe you want to, you know, drill down a little bit deeper and see how each variation is performing on its own, then uncheck it. And, you know, we know that this can get a little confusing. So if you're not sure, then we recommend that you check out this guide here that compares the two ways of doing it and walks you through the pros and cons of each. And that's it. Just select add products and give it a few minutes while we go and fetch all that data. And there it is. But this data doesn't do too much for you without any keywords. So let's add those in by clicking this icon or just right here. Now to start, we recommend entering as many keywords as you can. And seriously, don't hesitate to go right up to your limit here. And keep in mind that you should be entering both long and short keyword searches related to your product. So let's shoot for somewhere between 50 and 100 keywords and if you're short in ideas, then you can either take advantage of our keyword research tool, which we'll cover later, or you can use a service like Google's Keyword Planner. And between the two, you should easily end up with more than enough ideas to get going. Now, once you've compiled a big list, which I've just done here for my pub calendar, then you can just paste these in and click add keywords, and then just give us another few minutes to pull all this data for you. Once the data loads for these keywords, you're good to go. Now, if you have any other products or if you want to start tracking your competition, then now would be a great time to add these in just by repeating the same process. And just one thing to note, when you add keywords on these new products, you can copy all the keywords over from any of your existing products. And each keyword only counts as one towards your limit, even if you track it for multiple products. So no worries there. That's it. In the next video, I'll show you what you should be looking for in this data to help you decide what you need to do next.